This is Heartrepreneur Radio, maximizing your personal and business results by leading with your heart. With your host, Terry Levine. Listen every week as Terry tackles the topics that will help you become a successful heart centered entrepreneur. Be sure to read the blog posts at www.heartrepreneur.com slash blog. Come back often and add this show to your favorite RSS feed or subscribe in iTunes. You can also follow Terry on Twitter at Mentor Terry and on Facebook.com slash Heartrepreneur Terry Levine. And now here's Terry. Hi, welcome to Heartrepreneur Radio and Heartrepreneur TV. My name is Terry Levine and I'm glad that you've tuned back in and remember that Heartrepreneur is a cause. It's a movement. It's about transforming the way business is done so that business is no longer transactional. Business actually occurs one heart to another heart, doing business by relationship with authenticity, with transparency, and with integrity. So I have a Heartrepreneur here with me today that I'd like to introduce you to, and her name is Karen Ford. She happens to be a master financial coach, and she's even more than that. She's an author, she's a business owner, and a real estate investor. Now, her goal is to motivate and inspire business owners just like you to not only budget correctly, but to demolish debt and build wealth. And we're all here to build wealth, right? She has keys that provide a sense of peace, and that empower businesses to operate smoothly in the area of finance. This is a very important show, so make sure you're fully present and listening. Karen is a heartrepreneur. She has heartfelt principles that provide business owners to lead from a position of gratitude, and what better position to lead from. Karen, welcome to Heartrepreneur Radio and TV. Thank you so much, Terry. It's a pleasure to be with you today. I'm excited to have you, and I, I'm curious, how did you get led down this path? What brought you to where you are today? That's a great question to ask. I'm actually a, a registered nurse, but I haven't practiced as a nurse for several years. I had a friend tell me, you're great with money, you're great with numbers. I think you ought to get some more training. So I became a master financial coach, and then it just all transpired from there. <laughs> I love things like that because I have a similar story. Like my first degree, I have a master's degree as a speech language pathologist, you know, and I, I figured that was what I was meant to do until I woke up to the areas of coaching and consulting and realized what I'm really great at is building businesses. And so I changed careers completely for the last, I guess, 25, 26 years. And I'm doing what makes my heart sing. Is it similar for you? Absolutely it is. I so enjoy helping people and especially helping people win with money, whether it's personally or in their business. That's just something, it's a heartpreneur type thing. It sure is. And what is like the biggest thing that you see in terms of business owners with their money and finance? What, what would you say is their number one quote unquote issue, Karen? Their number one issue I would have to say is they need to learn how to budget, to be honest with you. I think sometimes when people have a business, they just think, oh, I've got all this money coming in. I'm just going to blow it or spend it. That isn't what we do. We need to plan it out. So I'll share something very embarrassing and very true that may <laughs> help others. <laughs> One of the first years in my coaching and consulting business, uh, I, I hit a million dollars. I remember going to my accountant and we were going over my finances and he said, you have to change something in your business. This was a horrible year. And I'm thinking, what is he out of his mind? And he said, you literally are taking home less than $50,000. I almost fell on the floor. I, Karen, bought anything and everything that came along. It was like, oh, here's something. Here's an event. Here's a class. Here's, I just bought all these things. Here's another coach, another consultant, another training. And I spent and spent and spent. And what you're saying is so true. Now, I budget. I look at what's coming in. I look at what's going out. Why is it that we don't do that? Like, what is that about? 
I think sometimes people hear that word budget and it has a really bad rap, like it's a four letter word. <laughs> and a budget is actually you telling your money what you want it to do instead of wondering where it went. Ooh, you telling your money, oh, what you want it to do. I love that. <laughs> <laughs> you're in control of it. When you don't have a budget, you're not in control of your money. Mm. Simply put. If you have any challenges in your business and you want some business advice and help, we're here to do a customized blueprint to help you overcome your biggest business challenge. Send an email right now to Terry, T-E-R-R-I, at Terry Levine, L-E-V-I-N-E, -E, and we will tell you how to get your customized business blueprint. We are truly here to help you. And what if somebody like isn't a good budgeter in their life and now they own a business? How do they get started? Where do they begin? They need to get someone that's going to hold them accountable, whether it's a financial coach, whether it's an accountant, whether it's somebody that's going to hand them money and say, this is your allowance this month. And so if, if they're like that with their personally, then definitely you want to change things when you're in business because you, what you know, as well as I do, business can, can change in the blink of an eye. So we want to be well prepared. Brilliant. Brilliant. Um, what is it that you do exactly to help business owners? I'll meet with them one-on-one, -on -one, face to face, Skype, Zoom, whatever the case may be. I want to find out what their vision, their dreams, their hopes are, first of all. Because if I can see the goal, then I can give you the steps to reach that goal. That's awesome. I'm curious, how do people contact you? What's the best way to get in touch with you? Social media is a great outlet, as well as I have my own website. So a number of ways they can reach me. Great. And I happen to follow Karen on social media. And her posts are absolutely thought-provoking. They're really brilliant. I highly recommend that you do that. Karen, what's your website? It's karenford.org. Karenford.org. Make sure you got the .org as you're viewing and listening. <laughs> So I want to give you an example of one of my client family members, and I'm going to ask you to see if you can give us some advice because I think our audience will relate. This is her third year in her own business, and she never had her own business before, so she's kind of new as an entrepreneur. And she's gone from the first year, she did a little over 100. The second year, she did a little over 300, which is great. And she'll probably do close to 600 this year. So she is a rapidly growing business. However, she is literally in debt all the time. Her bills are late, her credit cards are past due. And she recently said to me that she had enrolled in some kind of a specialized training certification that she wanted to get. She's a healthcare professional. And that she doesn't have enough money to finish paying for the certification. So give us some advice because I think some of our audience will relate to aspects of my <laughs> I would ask a series of questions and find out where's all this spending because obviously there's a sieve uh, where money is just going out in her hands. And so I want to see where, where's the spending and why are we spending? You know, sometimes people feel good and therefore, they spend. Sometimes people feel bad and they spend. So I want to find out emotionally, where are you? And then I would definitely advise this person to get an accountability partner. She may have to have someone hold those purse strings so that she can get control of that money. That sounds and get an accountant to pay the bills for her so they're not late. Perfect. Get an accountant to pay the bills. I love that. I think that's really important. You know, as you were talking, I just thought of something. I'm going to relate this to eating, right? People eat emotionally. So sometimes people eat because they're so happy. And sometimes people eat because they're so stressed. It sounds like there's a correlation between that pattern and the spending pattern. Yes. Oh, absolutely. I've coached people where they feel good. And so they just have that I deserve it attitude and they'll go on a shopping spree or maybe they've had a really rough week and they're just so stressed and they, they know they shouldn't spend, but they're just, they just throw that out 
the window and just think, oh, I'm going to go ahead and spend anyway. So who is an ideal person for you to work with? If someone is listening and watching and they say, I may need some help, who's perfect for you? I can coach anybody that has any type of money related issue, whether it's debt, wanting to demolish it, maybe they don't know how to budget, or maybe it's someone that wants to build wealth or have better control of their money. Any of them. I've coached people from $500 in debt all the way up to $800,000 in debt. Wow. Wow. That's awesome. That's awesome. Do you recommend that business owners use any kind of worksheets or software or anything to track their money in, money out? Absolutely. Whatever format you choose, the important thing is, is to choose a format. Don't just use your check register <laughs> or your bank account to keep track. You need some type of money tracking system, whether, you know, it's a software system or, you know, paper, but you definitely need a tracking system. I agree with that. I think that's what changed things for me, you know, after that year where my accountant said, this was a bad year. <laughs> now I use, and it, it's very simple, I just use an Excel form that I actually created. And every Friday, it's clockwork, it's on my calendar, it's scheduled to do a review. What's come in, what's going out. And to really make sure, just as I, I would in my personal expenses, that I'm not overspending before I make a decision to spend, I make sure that we're bringing money in and I make sure that 20% of everything that's come in, that's just how I do it, is put in an account that I do not touch and that money gets used for marketing and business growth. So that 20% is allocated, it's put away and it goes directly to marketing. What do you think of that idea? I think that's a great idea because you can budget all of those areas. Maybe you're going to use so much for marketing. Maybe you're going to use so much just to help other people giving things away. But the important thing is, is making sure you have a line item budget for those particular items. Fantastic. And again, where can people find out more if they're getting interested in Karen Ford, which they should be? <laughs> well, KarenFord.org. Also, I'm on LinkedIn. I have a Facebook business page, KBF Money Managing, and Instagram as well. Perfect. Perfect. All right. So now let's switch gears a little bit. And I'm going to ask you about wealth because I talk at a lot of events and there's a lot of other speakers there. And many of them are talking about making money, making money, making money. And I think there's the difference between making money and creating wealth. What do you think? Definitely. When you're making money, I take that to mean you're working to get the money. But when you're creating wealth, that money is put to use. That money is working for you. So wealth just automatically occurs even beyond what you're working for. Yes. I'm really glad that, that what we mentioned that and that you verified what I believe. It, it's interesting to me because I think that making money is when I had a J-O-B. I was president of a national healthcare company and I was making money. I was a wage slave. I put in a certain amount of hours every day and I got money. I got paid. When I began to run my own business coaching and business consulting, I said very clearly, I want to create wealth. I want to create a legacy. I want to have money for my family, for a foundation that I support. And I want my money to keep working and to keep creating more money. Is your business struggling? You want more leads, you want to convert leads more easily, you want more revenues, more profits. Whatever your biggest business challenge is, we're here to help you. We have a proprietary proven process that's guaranteed here at Hartrepreneur to help you increase your revenues and profits. And we have the ability to help you overcome your biggest business challenge. Simply send us an email to Terry, T E R R I, at Terry Levine, L E V I N E dot com, and we will show you how we can help you overcome your biggest business problem by doing a customized blueprint just for you. 
Whatever your problem or challenge is, stop struggling, stop the frustration. Let us help you so that you can have more money, more freedom, and more free time in your business. Do it now. Send the email now. So for me, there was a big difference between I'm going to go out and I'm going to make money, which a lot of entrepreneurs talk about making money, making money, versus a, a really clear intention is I want to create wealth so I can be of greater service to the world. Anything else you want to say about wealth? I love that word. <laughs> oh, absolutely. Well, there's a variety of ways in creating wealth. You know, there's lots of different ways, but I think it all goes back to the heart, Terry. We're heartpreneurs. This whole is heartpreneur. You're a heartpreneur. I'm a heartpreneur. It all has to do with the heart. What's our passion? What's our vision? And our, is our end goal just to make money or is our end goal to help as many people as we possibly can achieve their dreams, achieve what they're wanting in life and just helping people just because we have the heart to do so. Beautiful, beautiful. So I'm going to ask a, another question and kind of take us in another area. I have another client family member and she is all about budgeting, um, which is great, and that's awesome. And yet, she budgets so tightly sometimes that she doesn't always work with people who can help her. So just to give you some ideas, um, she doesn't have an accountant. She doesn't have a financial advisor. She ha doesn't have a wealth coach. And I I'm concerned because while I'm helping her grow her business, I'm not looking at her money and her wealth. And I keep saying to her, you need someone to help you. And she keeps saying, I don't have a budget for that. <laughs> what would you say to that? Oh boy. Well, you got to, you have to make a budget for that because we can't budget ourselves to the point where we, we won't coach other people. I mean, there are times I have coached people for free. I've given thousands of dollars away because to me, it's more important that they get the help that they need than to me to receive money from them. And yes, it's wonderful to create wealth. It's wonderful to get paid for something that you're, a service you're providing. But the end game is to really help this person that maybe just needs your help, sow it. I look at it as sowing seed. If I'm giving something away and I'm, and I'm sowing that seed, so to speak, I'm gonna reap a harvest. It might not come from that person, I'll get it some other way. I couldn't agree more. I am constantly am giving help and giving advice and doing uh, free webinars and different seminars. And sometimes I even speak at events where I have nothing to sell and I'm not getting paid. And people say, oh, don't you have other things to do with your time? Yes. And I really believe that the more you are of service, heartrepreneur, the more you come from a service mentality, what Karen says is true. It comes back to you and it's not always equal. Like, oh, I gave this person all of this and I'm, I'm not expecting anything from them in return. I just know that this is an abundant universe and the more that I'm willing to give and the more that I'm willing to share, the more that people give and share back with me. So what Karen what you're offering is just so true. And it's great to hear someone who talks about creating wealth also understand that there's a reciprocation and a giving to the universe. I really appreciate that. Oh, you're welcome. You know, it, that's where the heart comes in, really, to be honest with you. If I'm able to help somebody and I'm not going to get paid for it or receive something from them in return, then I just look at it like, hey, I helped them. Now it's up to them to, to take the tools that I provided and to use them. And that's rewarding to me. That's rewarding. That's where the true reward is. Because there's been times I've gotten paid <laughs> to provide the service and they didn't use the tools. <laughs> yes, <Yeah>, true. <problem. laughs> it is the beauty of it. It's, it's so funny to me. It's like when a client takes action and they do something, and a result gets produced, even if it's a smaller result, doesn't matter. I am so happy. I'm so excited. I, I call it my happy dance. <laughs> and yet, when an, another client is just not going to use the tools, not going to use the strategies, the suggestions, 
I'm so frustrated. I'm like, if only you do this, it works, it's proven. So that's how you know that you're working with someone who cares like Karen, because it's not just about, oh, let me just share and hope that you do something. It's very clear your intention is for people to actually get transformed by the service you provide, yes? Absolutely. The key is the transformation. We can give out information after information, but where the heart really comes in is when it becomes imparted to them. Information to impartation, then the transformation comes, then they're transformed from where they were to where they are now. And that is so powerful. That is so rewarding to see that. They didn't just receive the information. It became a part of them. Yeah. Information to impartation. That was like, just gave me goosebumps when you said that. <laughs> and when it does become a part, that's to me when transformation has happened. You're not sitting there going, oh, what am I supposed to do? How am I supposed to do? All of a sudden, the behaviors change, things change. And going back to, quote, the diet mentality, when people go on a diet, usually they're not transformed. They're just temporarily eating a new way. When healthy habits really become a part of who they are and very unconsciously they're just following that, that's transformation. So it's the same financially, yeah? Oh, absolutely. Financially, I can, I can tell the people what they need to do, but when, they, when it really becomes a part of them, it goes right into that behavior change. That's so powerful. It really is. It really is. So what's a great place for someone to start if they're sitting here listening and watching us and saying, I probably could do better at amassing wealth or controlling my finances, or I really, really don't want to have any more debt. What's the first action they should take? The very first action is write down their vision or their dreams. Where do they want to be in five years, 10 years, 20 years? Second action is to budget because you, you can have a vision, but if you're not budgeting for it, it's probably not going to happen. Great. And I'm going to add a third action. Get in touch okay. with Karen. <laughs> She's on social media, karenford.org. And I will tell you, she has just tips, tools, strategies. Karen, can you give us an example of a, a client that you've worked with and where they started and where you've taken them to? Oh, wow. That's awesome. Yes. <laughs> I coached a couple one time and literally between this husband and wife, they had 86 credit cards. 86? They had 86 and every one of them had a balance on them. The sad thing is they had so many credit cards between them, but she had some he didn't know about. He had some she didn't know about. All the cards were on the table, literally all the cards on the table. And so we worked with them and they have paid off over 50 of those today. Now they're still working on it, but that is such a reward to see them apply and do it. Mm. It's all about the action. It's all about the action and the results. Oh man, it's exciting. So <laughs> one is just like, maybe starting out in business, would you advise that they instantly start working with someone like you or should they wait? Where should they be? If they're already in business, they probably need to get someone like me. And if they're getting ready to start business, then absolutely they need to meet with someone. So all, all their ducks will be in a row at the beginning of the game. I agree. And I also agree that as you're growing a business, you really need to work with someone like Karen. I really do. Um, it's so interesting to me. You know, I watch clients that go from maybe they started and they only did $50,000 and all of a sudden they do 150. And for whatever reason, and I see this as a repeated pattern, they start to spend more money because they're making more money. And then if you start going to 300, 500, and there's a, a world of difference when you hit a million and beyond. I just see spending patterns, which is what I was guilty of myself. Oh, I'm making a lot of money. I'm going to go buy this and do this and get this. And so to me, also, as you're growing your business, you want to do what I didn't do back then. You want to work with someone who can hold you accountable, who can help you budget, 
Any thoughts around that, Karen? I want to say that if you are a smaller business, maybe a hundred thousand, one hundred and fifty thousand, get the spending habits under control now because as your business grows, those spending habits are going to be very natural to spend more. So get a hold of those spending habits early on. And I agree with that. I mean, that's why I was so transparent. I'm a, I'm a clear example of that. It, you know, it's interesting to me. I don't spend a lot in my personal life. There's not a lot of material things that interest me. So I'm really good about that. The minute I started to make a lot of money in business, for whatever reason, I was just like free, wheeling money. <laughs> I really do agree with Karen. So get some help. And Karen, again, tell them how to access you and uh, how to get in touch with you if they want any of your services, and any of your help. Certainly. It's, my website is karenford.org on Facebook and Instagram, KBF Money Managing. Beautiful. And managing to me is the optimal word. It's managing. We want to create wealth. And people who create wealth, in my experience, I spent a lot of time just reading autobiographies of wealthy people. I'm fascinated. They consciously are looking to grow their wealth, that they're very conscious of making money from money. And I think many times entrepreneurs don't think about that. It's they're in the make money game, not create wealth. Any last words around that, Karen? Managed money grows. Unmanaged money goes. Ooh, say that one more time. Those are really good words of wisdom. Managed money grows. Unmanaged money goes. Wow. If you remember one thing from this entire amazing interview with Karen Ford, remember those words. This is why you want to manage your money. You want your money to grow. And we certainly don't want our money to go. I have to tell you, Karen, um, I love chatting with you. First of all, you have wonderful advice. You're a wealth of resources. <laughs> And what you do blends so perfectly, not only with Heartrepreneur, also with the business and marketing and sales consulting that I do. I really feel all of my client family members need someone like you. And I think you're the ideal choice, Karen. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you for the opportunity. My pleasure. Great. And don't forget to go to Karen's website, Karen Ford. Dot org, o -R -G. Don't forget KarenFord.org. And as I said, she's just totally aligned. And I invite you as our listener, our viewer to join our Facebook group where I have entrepreneurs just like Karen. I'm inviting Karen to join also, which is on Facebook under groups, Heartrepreneurs with Terry Levine. And you're going to find advisors, strategists, coaches, consultants, mentors that are freely in there sharing their tips, their tools, their wisdom. And so anytime that you're looking for help with your business, with your life, with true transformation, this is where the Heartrepreneurs hang out. There's about 5,000 of us in the Heartrepreneur cause. So again, it's Heartrepreneurs with Terry Levine on Facebook. And one last thing, because you are here viewing, watching, listening, and a part of the Heartrepreneur family, I also have put together an educational webinar with a lot of free tools called The Seven Deviations. This will change everything in your business. And it's my gift to you. You can access it at tlwebinar.com, TL like Terry Levine tlwebinar.com and it is my gift. So once again, check out Karen at karenford.org and thank you for tuning in here today at Heartrepreneur Radio and TV. Bye now. You've been listening to Heartrepreneur Radio, maximizing your personal and business results by leading with your heart with your host, Terry Levine. This show is produced every week for your enjoyment and education. To make sure you never miss a single show, add us to your favorite RSS feed or subscribe on iTunes. You can also read Terry's latest blog posts at www.heartrepreneur.com slash blog. Or follow Terry on Twitter at MentorTerry and on Facebook.com slash Levine. 
Your questions and comments are always welcome and appreciated. Send them to Terry on either Facebook or Twitter. Thank you for listening.